Hello again. So today I would like to look into um, PICQ, which is cropping of the picture. Um, this is the command here. It's PICQ to enter the X, the Y, the width, and the height, and then PICQ ID, which is the picture ID. I'm sorry, PIC ID, picture ID. So on here it explains what I just said. They give you an example down here. And this is the IT um, Next Ion instruction set. Page. You can see up here it's IT.cc forward slash wiki forward slash Next Ion underscore instruction set. Go ahead and Google search uh, Next Ion instruction set. It's a lot easier that way. So to the example here, they give you PICQ. They give you an X coordinate which is 20, a Y coordinate, which is 15, and then um, the width would be 30, and the height would be 20, and the picture ID, and it just explains it here. So let's look into that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show a quick example here. On my green screen, I have it as a PICQ. I want the x coordinate to the starting point of be 150. The x coordinate starting point would be 50. And I want it to be 200 wide, 200 um, width and height. And then the zero goes to over here for your pictures. So the picture we're looking at is uh, uh, this would be part picture zero here. So um, let's look into that here. So if I touch the screen, it gives me the starting point, which is right here. This is the starting point, the corner itself. And we enter the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and we get the, um, the width and the height of it. Of the picture is zero, and this is what we got for it. Here, let me give you, let me see if I can give you another example. What I've been using it for is very useful. Now, to give you an, an example of how I've been using it, um, let me show you here. Um, So this is one of my favorite ones. It's a, I use it as a transition. I mean, you could, like I've always said, there's always room for improvement. Or, uh, just be creative. And you can do a lot with this screen. They give you very little, but uh, trust me, you can do a lot. Um, and um, this one's an, uh, an example of how I've been using it. I've been using it as a screen transition. And, and let me show you one of my, one that I've, one of my favorite ones. So when I touch to the calculator here, to this screen button here, and it goes into the calculator, of course. Two plus three, five. See, it works. It's just of how you transition it. So that's just one example of how you could use PICQ. Um, I've used it in many other things. Uh, many in other ways of but this is just one uh, example here um, Hope you find this useful uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, My motivation is your thumbs up uh, without your thumbs up uh, a long time ago. I would have canceled this uh, uh, This these tutorials But just as, just so I know you're out there just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and and uh, you have a wonderful day